Hello, my name is Yusef, and today I am introducing Lakehouse Federation. Lakehouse Federation is the query federation platform for Databricks, which describes a collection of features that enable users and systems to run queries against multiple data sources without uh, needing to migrate all data to any unified system. Databricks uses Unity Catalog to, ma uh, to manage query federation. Lakehouse uh, Federation supports connection to the following databases. So we have, of course, Azure SQL uh, Data Warehouses, Microsoft SQL Server, Redshift, Postgre, MySQL, Databricks, and Snowflake. And why should I use Lakehouse Federation? Lakehouse Federation emphasizes central uh, storage of data to reduce data redundancy and isolation. But your organization may have numerous data systems in production, and you may want to query data in connected systems for a number of reasons, can be supporting workloads during incremental migration, uh, POC, uh, ad hoc reporting. And something very, very important, Unity catalogs, data governance, and data lineage tools ensure that data access is managed and audited for all federated queries made by users in your Databricks workspace. And we'll see uh, in a few how to set up a uh, query federation or Lakehouse federation by creating a connection and then a foreign catalog. But before, let's uh, let's have a tour or walk about, let's talk about the requirement. First of all, you need to have a Unity catalog enabled for uh, your workspace. And for the compute requirements, it, re it requires SQL warehouses to be either serverless or pro to have Databricks runtime uh, 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 13.1 or above and shared uh, cluster access mode. And of course, uh, network connectivity uh, from your uh, Databricks runtime cluster or SQL warehouse to target the database uh, system. And now let's move to the demo. Okay, so now that I am in the platform, I will go to uh, SQL warehouses. I'll create, click on create, so I call, let's call it Yusef. I'll go for a large, and then I will choose, of course, serverless, but you can either go for serverless or uh, pro. I'm gonna create this. And then I'll go to the data explorer then external, and then I click on connections, then create connection. That's the name I'm gonna give to my connection or the connection type for my case, it's SQL server. And then I'm gonna bring the different uh, info information required to log into my uh, database. Need to get the different connection details, the host, the port, false. And of course, always make sure to test the connection. I will select my sequence point test and see if it works. Yes, so the connections established. So now I can create my connection. And of course, something important, make sure to grant permission to the different uh, people or group you're gonna work with. Of course, you can grant permissions by group or users. You can grant permission, to create foreign catalog or privileges. So I'm gonna grant all privileges to me. That's it, much easier. And then I'll go to the SQL editor. And as you can see now, uh, I will create my foreign catalog that would that would be based on my, the connection I've created previously called Titanic, and I will choose the uh, database Yusef. Of course, I could have created the connection not using the UI but using the SQL uh, SQL command. And now I'll create my uh, foreign catalog called Titanic. Let me just select my SQL warehouse. 
And then I'll go to the data explorer. Let's look for Titanic. And you see if I select DBO, you will see that I have my three uh, tables, passenger, boards, and tickets. And the next step, I will create uh, a new catalog called Titanic Enhanced. I'll create a schema called Enrich, and then I will create a table called uh, Survive Passengers. In this uh, new Delta table, I will run some transformations. I will clean the data. I will create a new column and join it with the table uh, with the table ports. And then I'll uh, I'll display uh, the results. And this will uh, create a new table called uh, survived uh, passengers. And of course, I'll make sure to uh, save uh, this query. And you will see that in this table, I will have something very, very important, uh, which is the lineage. So if I go to the data explorer, and the table, uh, the, it's, the catalog is called Titanic Enhanced. So let me just open the data explorer. So Titanic Enhanced. Enriched, survived, and of course, I'll go to lineage, the graph lineage. So you think I was able to track the lineage to the SQL Server tables that I have uh, on my connection. So you see I've used the table ports, uh, the table passengers, and this helped me to create my new data table called, called survived uh, passengers. And if I go to lineage, so you see that I have those two tables and of course the query, which is get started with uh, Lake House Federation. And of course, then you can just go, for example, I'm going to use filter, for example, P class, and then I can build uh, different visualizations. For example, I go for a pie, let's call it survived just to get some statistics and for example, uh, let's go for the gender. Survive. Okay. And you see, I can check the difference. For example, if you are if you were in class three, like percentage of uh, uh, dead person and per and uh, dead female and survived females. So you can build dashboards. You can build charts easily, and then you can add them to a specific dashboard. But you can really see how Lake House Federation is so powerful without where it brings the possibility to avoid copying the data and just join your uh, your different tables with the tables you have on, on the Lake House to enrich them and get the most of your of your data. Thank you.